All right, so the first one is 2201 58th Street. Um, our code enforcement office um, has been cutting the grass on this property for the last three years. Um, it's a tax sale property. The owner is out of um, Louisiana, um, bought at a tax sale, and he has not responded to any of our letters. So due to the lack of maintenance over these years, uh, I decided to move forward on posting it. And that's what you're seeing in this first picture where I posted it. And then uh, John Ben sent the other notice by mail to him. I have not had any response from this owner in the last three years of sending him um, notices to the mail. Um, just going through the pictures, you'll see a decent amount of rot. Um, facial boards coming off as a beam going across the court that is um, starting to give way. Um, looking through the windows of the house, you can see the sheetrock falling down. So once the proof to abate it, I will take more pictures of the inside and that will tell a little more of the story behind this house. So I'm asking y'all to um, move forward with the abatement. You can also see the porch uh, where the roof's leaked a good bit, starting to rot. It's just a matter of time before it starts to um, give away. The second one. All right, this one will be Gibson Street. So we'll go to 1065 Gibson Street. This property has been empty. Um, since 2017, and there again, due to lack of maintenance, um, it's starting to show a lot of bad signs. Um, you see where I posted it here in the picture. There again, John Ben sent the notice through mail to the owner. I have not heard from the owner since I've sent them that notice. Um, keep going. Just looking at the pictures, you can see what windows have been boarded up. Get around to the back of the house, the deck there is rotted off. And then if you go to the next picture, you see there's a main structural beam there that's um, in bad shape. Um, just all together, the house is um, in pretty rough condition structural wise. Then we'll move on to 20th Avenue. This one is right at the intersection kind of MLK. Um, if you get in into uh, from MLK, you would be looking at this structure. Um, I have had conversations with the owner and a potential owner. Um, they both came in to see me. Um, the guy I wanted to buy it, um, told him that he could, as long as he turned in a plan of action to me, um, but that I could not give any permits until the deed was in his name. State law would prevent us from doing that. So I, I also handed him the notice just to make sure he fully understood everything. They did swap the deed over to his name. He came in, pulled the permit. I asked him for a plan of action that I could give because we're still in our 45 day period at this point. Um, he said he would get it back to me. A few weeks goes by, I tried to reach out to him could get him. Um, the, the original owner um, came in for some other business. I discussed it with him. He reached out to him and um, told him what he needed to do. Um, the original owner said he didn't want it back no matter what happened. He said the house was not worth it to him. Um, that it, it just would take too much money um, to bring it into compliance. So with that being said, the, um, the guy that was buying it never came back to see me, and now it's been quite some time. He's had plenty of time. Um, he has also done no work to the house. So if you look at the pictures, you see there's a good bit of structural damage back here. That roof is kind of flat, so I, can't, I couldn't get a good picture of it. But if you look through the windows, you can see where sheetrock and part of the roof structure is coming through. Um, and it's... It's pretty bad on the backside. One of the worst I've seen in a while. Um, 